morning everybody welcome back um, I just thought I would share with you guys today um, some things that I've been doing and I thought I would just bring you along on a create with me I think that it was <clears throat> about a week ago I decided to start doing some Franken pages and um, again tackling my scrap pile and so I came up with some of these paper snippets where I've added some old vintage lace and just bits and pieces too. And as you can see, I stayed quite busy um, because it is pretty time intensive to do these, but I feel like <clears throat> I just accomplished a lot that day when uh, I sat down. I pretty much, now these I'll probably just end up using in uh, some journals as Franca pages. But look at that, how much I managed to um, dwindle that pile down. So I'm really happy with how those came out, and I think the, um, the paper snippets are going to be really nice just to cut up and add some embellishments to. And this was some playing around with some of the Distress Oxide inks as well on some music uh, sheet paper and I love I love how that came out. Okay so today a completely different project. <clears throat> I am currently working on some tans and these are going to be more of a fairly simple um, journal that I'm going to do because I'm just, I'm, I'm on this big, big push to do a clear out. So what I'm working on today are a couple of little snippets that I can just add to the book page. I've done all, I've sewn them in, I've got all of my stenciling and stamping done to it, and I just thought... <clears throat> I want to make some snippets that I can just add on the edges here and again tackling the off cuts that I've got because every time I trim down my papers I end up with a lot of these. So I think the first one we'll do are the um, <clears throat> these ones. And this is, if you are curious, it's the My Porch Prints papers. I've got some of these left over and I just I've already got one done so I'm going to just make four more. And I was gifted some of these, so I'm going to incorporate those and then I had also added some of the um, leaf trim. I've got a little bit of that left. I'll I'll add some of that as well. So I just um <clears throat> like I said these were off cuts and I just thought it would be nice to start dwindling down that stack again. And I'm not going to worry too much about um, what I'm adding to it. I just want to use up these scraps. I cannot believe in about a week I will fill up my... my um, container and then I've also got some of these I might add as well instead of some of the lace trim I might act actually use this this time <clears throat> so I hope everybody's well and uh, Getting all ready for summer holidays. I don't know if where you're living, if that's um, if that's going to happen this year or not. I know a lot of places are still very strict over the lockdown. So, like I said, I'm not going to. worry too much about this. I'm just I'm just grabbing it up <clears throat> and adding it to this. I 
And what I will do is just sit these to the side and then I'll run them to through the machine and then I'll come back and add a button to that. <clears throat> yeah, I was listening to the news and they're saying that the um, pollen count is really high right now and that's all I can figure that must be going on with my throat these days because I've Definitely got the ventilation much better in my room to keep the Fabri-Tac from irritating me. Oh, let me ink that one quickly. I do love the embossed papers. Yeah, I just, I just really struggle to throw out my paper scraps, especially when you're going through all the trouble to tea dye those. You're just like, no, nah, that's that's like gold. I'm not throwing that stuff out. So it's nice when you can find a way to use them. I think these will be really cute on the edge of the page. And then I want to get some uh, tabs, some pa fabric ta tabs done as well. <coughs> Actually, I may as well use these, so I'll go ahead and do five of them. yeah, it's just, uh, again, I'm just grabbing um, things that I've had in my stash pile, and it's, um, it's just time to start tackling these things, and I want to get a few more journals out. And then, believe it or not, I think um, one of the projects I'm going to do with you guys is, um, <laughs> nope, I know nobody's going to want to hear the word yet, but I think I'm going to start working on some December dailies, uh, because I've got several people in the family who want me to make them one this year. And because of that, I want to get them done soon so that they're ready to ship probably, I'll probably ship them about uh, August or September. So I thought that might be a really fun project for us to work on because I've got my books all gutted and I'm, the plan is to do them with fabric because I got loads of Christmas fabric so that's the plan okay guys what I'm gonna do now is just take these little bundles over and do some stitching on the machine and then I'll come back and we'll just sew on a button to these and this part will be done and then we're gonna start working on these so I'll be right okay guys I have stitched those and I went ahead and started sewing on some of the buttons so you wouldn't have to sit here and watch that but you can see now they're all, let me just snip that a little bit. They're all stitched together and you got a nice little bit of texture as well. So I'm just going to put a button on these just to add a little bit of something to it. I'm trying to uh, use my stamps more. I'm getting kind of frustrated with myself because I got some beautiful stamps and uh, and I just tend to uh, to get so involved in in a project and I, I I don't know I just seem to be overlooking using those so that's how I came up with. Um, 
with this little. I just think it's really simple, but it's it's a nice little page adornment for the edge. Um, just something a little bit different so that you can start if you're into the rubber stamping, hopefully <clears throat> you'll start using some of your stamps as well because I just think it I, I just well I like stamping. That's that's probably <clears throat> where my crafting actually started was when I first joined uh, Stamping Up years and years ago. And I still enjoy. I, I like, as you know, I like card making, but it's just I don't get a lot of time now to do it. But I'm trying to start making more time for the things that I enjoy, guys. That's that's one thing I think this this whole lockdown has really made me reevaluate things. And, um, you know, I started by making myself the journal that, I've been promising myself for years and hadn't done, and now I'm I'm trying to finish up, you know, some projects because I've I've started a lot of different types of crafting, and uh, you know, just unfinished things, and so now I'm trying to just go back and start doing more uh, things that for for you know that I enjoy. In addition, I mean, I love journal making, but. I need a break from it sometimes. So anyways, I've got those ready. I'll end up with an extra of those. And then this is just so simple, but I've always got these strips when I trim. When I trim off to fit into a journal, so I'm, I've got that. Yeah, that's all I need there, so. So I'm just going to stamp those. Okay. Okay, so what I did one day, the weather I thought was fairly nice here, and I just took a lot of my doilies, the paper doilies, and I just hung them over the clothesline and sprayed them with the with the glimmer mist that I made using the mica powder. And um, I like it, but I don't like it well enough that I would want this in the journal. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want to waste these, so I'm just going to have those little bits of it in the background for just a little bit of shimmer. And like I said, I just don't, I don't want to waste it. So just a book page. Just going to tear some. This is probably the longest one I've got. Then I'm just gonna gonna layer it the way I like it, and then run it through the machine just to frame the stamped bit. And the other thing I've got is some lace that I just want to add, just a little bit of lace hanging out. Um, in fact, I might put this one under underneath here. So you can still see the book page, but I like that. All right, so that's one. See, these are just so, so quick. But <clears throat> I've said this time and time again. There's something so rewarding about um, using up bits and pieces of paper. I don't know why. <laughs> I just find it incredibly rewarding. <laughs> so... Okay, so I've got those ready. Let's see, I need another bit of book page. So 
So you could do anything. I mean, sometimes I've got some um, piano piano roll paper. Sometimes I add a little bit of that if if I think I can see it, like this one. I'm, that's too much of the lace showing, I think. So I'm just going to tuck a little bit of that under there as well. Um, just whatever you got in your pile, you know, just grab it up. I just for me, and everybody's different. I feel like I have to have a, a focal point. Um, that is one thing I, I struggle with with the collaging, um, and everybody's different. You know, this is certainly uh, not a criticism. This just for myself. I I cannot do the collage if I don't feel like there's something that is that draws your eye into it. But I know everybody's different, and uh, so that's why I really like using the stamps for that because it just—it's just a little extra something there. And this is nice because it's not like an extreme shimmer; it's just a little bit. Um, because I'm—I'm I'm not really a blingy type of person. I think you know, I'm more—I like more the rustic, uh, natural with just a little bit of lace in, incorporated. <laughs> so yeah, just play around till you find something that, that you like. Yeah, that's cute. I'm going to go with that, I think. I really like the, um, <clears throat> the paper doily on these. All right, guys, so now I'm going to run that to the machine, and gosh, you know, there you go. We'll have another little embellishment to add to the journal, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. That's how they've come out. And like I said, now I can <clears throat> add those. This is... Uh, This is one here I would probably I think that would be really nice there and then I'll probably put the other one in the back here like that and like I said just another little bit of interest in the journal itself so there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope it's inspired you to grab your stamps and <clears throat> tackle that scrap pile, because um, if you're like me, oh my gosh, every week it's just full and overflowing. So, okay, guys, I'm going to be back very soon. I've got a lot of tutorials planned for you and more uh, series-type tutorials, you know, where we will do an actual journal. And uh, so... Please leave a comment and let me know that you're enjoying the content and feel free at any time to message me and offer suggestions because um, I want this to be an in inspiring place for you to come that you feel as though you know, you're know you learning something and um, so I'm very open to any suggestions you guys have got. Take care of yourselves and I'll be back very soon. Bye!